Yes! Let's go!
I never repeat. Yes! Let's go! Hey, buddy. Gosh, damn. It's May 27th out here in Kansas, and uh, Brennan had a very successful hunt this morning. It's his first trip out, trip out to Kansas, and uh, just like normal, Tim didn't let us down. Uh, he roosted this bird last night. We slipped in here. He was on the same side of the creek with us, and uh, it just worked out perfect. They didn't want to cooperate, so we took our fans and, and crawled right to them and uh, made it happen. But we're going to go ahead and uh, get this bird cleaned up and get out of here. we got uh, the rest of the day to hunt here, and hopefully we can get on a bird. We're going to hunt tomorrow and then head back to Missouri, so it should be pretty good. Mm. Wet boy. It's a morning of May 28th here and we've kind of got to the delayed start. It was raining really hard this morning, big storm came through and uh, so we're just now getting out here to the property. But good sign on the way out uh, has to be the bird that we roosted last night is out in the field right now strutting. So from the sounds of it yesterday he was by himself. We're going to try to slip down uh, this draw on the east side of it, cross a ravine, get out in the same field as him maybe at a different point where he can't really see us, put a hand decoy out and uh, give him some yelp, see if he won't commit. So it should be pretty good. It rained and hopefully he's hot after this rain. So we're gonna give it a shot. You think I should go at him? I, I think I see his head. <clears throat> I just can't see him very well no more. Well, he had a hand with him. Yeah. Think I should go at him or no? Okay.
you get it pretty good? Yeah, yeah buddy. Work like a charm, man. Right? As you can tell, that didn't take very long. Uh, we slipped down this big draw, and luckily Brennan caught him. Now, I first spotted a hen, and I didn't see him, and Brennan said he caught him at the top of the terrace strutting, and sure enough, he was he was working south along the top ridge of this field, and the hen had went over towards the west. So uh, we did a couple yelps to him, no response, and at that point I knew that it was probably going to be a reap or it wasn't going to happen. He was occupied with the hen, so... I got down and started shuffling up across this cornfield to the top of the terrace and I could faintly see him. It uh, looked like he spun and come out of strut. Now I thought he went the other way, but uh, I kept catching the top of his fan every so often blowing in the wind. And I just kept going right at him and the next thing I know he's running at me. I just laid down flat and it worked like a charm. But we were going to try to get this bird to work and once I realized that the hen was already over the crest of the hill. And it's windy, probably not going to be able to call him in. It's going to be hard for him to hear. I just decided to go with the reap, and it worked out perfect. That's uh, my third my third bird reap this year. Uh, total of five that I watched it work on. So it's a good tactic when everything else isn't working and they're occupied by a hand because a lot of times they're not coming off of them. So another great trip in Kansas. I can't thank Tim enough for letting us come out here and do this every year. Uh, it's all about the memories, spending time with Tim and. Uh, you know, just catching up on, on our hunting stories and mainly whitetail. But in the off season, we love chasing these birds around, even though they're stubborn. And that always makes for great memories, stuff I'll never forget. Yeah, buddy. Work like a charm, man. Work 